Hello, my name is Tomasz Jaszek, and in this challenge I will talk about solutions to the Fury challenge powered by Codility. In this challenge we would like to calculate the shortest time in which we can get to work. The road consists of several segments, which can be either asphalt or sand, and they are represented by a given string. Different road segments require different traveling time, depending on the type of the segment, and whether we go on foot or on an electric scooter. To be precise, when we are on foot, we need 20 minutes to pass through an asphalt segment and 30 minutes to pass through a sand segment. On the other hand, electric scooter is very fast on the asphalt, it only needs 5 minutes to pass a segment, but it's slower on sand, it needs 40 minutes there. We start our journey on the scooter, but at any point we can get off and continue on foot. Let's analyze the example test case. The first road segment is an asphalt one, so it's obvious that it's better to use scooter here, resulting in 5 minutes of travel. The next segment is a sand segment, so since going by foot is faster here, we can consider getting off the scooter and continue by foot. Since the scooter is no longer available to us, all the other segment we will continue by foot. The total traveling time in this scenario will be 135 minutes. On the other hand, we can decide to use scooter on more segments. Then the traveling time on the second one will be longer, but on the third and fourth will be faster. We can get off after the fourth segment, and the rest will go by foot. Here the total traveling time will be better, 115 minutes. And in fact, this is the best possible answer for this test case. The first algorithm to solve this problem is pretty clear. Once we decide on the point on which we are getting off the scooter, the traveling times for all segments are determined. Therefore, we can sum all these times in a single linear loop over all segments. We have n plus 1 candidates on the point in which we are getting off, and for every candidate we are having a linear loop. Therefore, the total time complexity of this algorithm will be n squared. We are ready to implement this solution. First, we'll implement a helper function, cost, that will return a traveling time over a road segment, depending on two parameters, whether we have a scooter and whether the type of the segment is a sand segment. Both arguments are just Boolean variables. We could implement this function using a bunch of conditional instructions, but much shorter code can be achieved by encoding the costs in 2x2 two two matrix and using the arguments to select the correct cell in this matrix. So the idea is to have a 2x2 two two matrix with some costs, and we will select the row of this matrix based on whether we are on the scooter or not, and we'll select the column of this matrix based on the type of the road segment. Therefore, in the first row of the matrix, we are putting the costs of getting by foot in the asphalt and the sand segments, and in the second row, we are putting the costs of traveling by scooter. Now we are ready to write a main function. Let n be a number of segments, and let's initialize the answer to some big value. Now we need a loop that iterates over all possible candidates on the point in which we are getting off the scooter. For each such candidate, we are calculating the traveling time. This requires another loop over all segments. For each segment, we are adding its traveling cost. For the first argument, we are putting whether we are on the scooter or not, and this is true if our position is smaller than the position in which we are getting off. And for the second argument, we are putting whether we are on sand or not, and this is true if the 
type of the segment in the string is s. After calculating the cost, we are just updating the answer. And after testing all the candidates, we just return it. Let's run the code. It passes test cases correctly, but since this is n squared algorithm and n can be as big as 10 to the power of 5, this code is not very efficient and will not get perfect score. To speed it up, we need to make an observation. After selecting a point in which we are getting off the scooter, we need to sum the traveling times of all segments before this point, assuming that we are on scooter, and the sum of traveling times of all segments after this point, assuming that we are on foot. Therefore, we need to add a prefix sum of scooter times and the suffix sum of foot times. We can pre-calculate both prefix and suffix sums in linear time. And then the cost of testing every candidate will be constant. Therefore, the whole algorithm will work in linear time. In the implementation, uh, we will pre-calculate the foot suffix sums in an array and we will calculate the prefix sums for scooters on the fly. We will reuse our helper function and write the main function from scratch. We will need an array for our suffix sums and we will calculate them going from right to left. Each suffix sum is the previous one plus additional cost. Since we are going on foot here, the first argument is false. The second argument is just the type of the segment. Next, we initialize the answer uh, with the case that every segment is traveled by foot. And then we'll go in the loop over all remaining cases, calculating the prefix sum for a scooter on the fly in variable c. So first we'll add the cost of traveling the next segment by a scooter and update the answer by taking a sum of the prefix sum for a scooter and the suffix sum of the remaining part we are going by foot. Let's check the code on the sample cases. It is correct. And in fact, when checked by the Codality servers, this code will get a perfect score.